Good morning. Good afternoon. And good evening. With Brian. And I have a Coke oven. Also, I'm I'm red. <laughs> um, so we did a little bit of work between episodes. Uh, did some mining. Brian made a lot of drawers, like too many drawers. Like, why did you make so many drawers? <laughs> when you go uh, mining, you just come back, back you put everything away. away. We should get a drawer controller. Um, so today we are going to want to get passive power gen, probably in the form of a water wheel. But to get that, we're going to need steel. And to get steel, we are going to need... Um, hmm, we can make it in the, in the induction smelter. Brian, can you make an induction smelter for us? Or start working towards that? Sure. Alright. So Brian's going to be working towards that. In the meantime, I... Oh, by the way, I still have to touch my pickaxe. Um, I'm going to grab a bucket of lava and a bucket of water and a little bit of clay. Because I'm going to need to upgrade my pick to obsidian level. Ryan, you got an idea why I need that? No, I was thinking about the induction spotter. What'd you say? Got any idea why I might need an obsidian level pickaxe? Or hammer? Um... Not off the top of my head, no. <laughs> well, we need to go to the nether. Oh, hey, we have, we have iron in here. I should pour that out. I was thinking obsidian pickaxe. I'm like, well, you need diamonds to get the obsidian, so... Nope. You already no, would have don't. done that. <laughs> no, we don't. Because I'm going to learn you a thing or two about how to uh, get obsidian without needing diamonds. I mean, obviously, there's the igneous extruder. But I don't feel like doing that. Instead, I'm going to do it tinker style. In fact, I've already done it. Yeah. If you, um, if you pour uh, lava and water into the, the smeltery, it'll combine into obsidian, which I have done. I will now pour the obsidian into a sharpening kit, like so. And ta-da! Once I apply this to my hammer, we're going to have a good time. And by good time, I mean I can mine obsidian with it. Hey, when did they have thermal dynamics? A while ago. Like, that's been in there for a while. Gonna need to borrow a single piece of flint. Jabushki. I have obsidian on my bronze hammer. Alright. I'm gonna go ready us a nether portal. Because part of today's episode, we're gonna want to work on getting more food. For that, we're gonna use a cloche. Which requires a lantern, which requires glowstone. Nothing too complicated there. Just, uh, just need some lowstone. Going in the mining cave, getting lots of redstone. I have a question. When were hive maps ever added to Minecraft? I want to hive maps. Well, how do you think Ah, kids want to play. I gotta remember my daughter's, um, Invar stuff. <laughs> Invar is an alloy of nickel and iron. Curse me, I should probably make a sword for myself at some point. But that's one of those and, eventually things. Yeah, and a bow for gas. Oh yeah? That puts us significantly closer towards, um... What's it called? Angel Ring. Do, 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 do. Give me obsidian, give me obsidian, give me obsidian, give me obsidian, give me obsidian. 
I need obsidian. Don't let me die. It's always scary mining obsidian when you're above lava. I mean, obviously, you just pour some water in there so you don't die and you don't lose the obsidian, but it's still kind of scary. Alright, 18 pieces of obsidian. Should be good for now. Yeah, because the induction smelter will make it easy for us to get steel. Because other normally we need a blast furnace, which uh, requires blaze powder and brick and nether brick and all that stuff. So it's kind of expensive and it's very slow. The induction smelter takes power, but it can turn iron and coal coke into uh, into steel, which will be dinger dang useful. Because that'll let us start setting up water wheels, and water wheels are nice and passive power gen. Much more powerful than our survivalist generator. Because that thing is dinky. It's making 5 yeah. R per tick. I'm going to want to borrow your sword and armor, because I'm going to be going to the nether. Where okay. do you want the portal? Oh, you can, oh, you can do it in the alloy smelter, by the way. Oh, yeah, I was just getting the tin for the gears. Okay. So, yeah, can I borrow your sword and armor? Yeah. All right, so... All right, and I'll, I'll just put the nether portal somewhere over here. Let's see, one, two... One, two, three. One, two. Sorry, Sugar Cane, but you're being replaced by Obsidian. Go into the nether. Gonna eat you a lot of peaches. Oh, gosh darn it. I'm in someone else's portal. <laughs> I don't think we're that close to anybody. Yeah, neither did I. I just hope I'm not too far from the base. Oh, I met your wife's. Huh. Oh. Would you load terrain? That's like the jump, jump over, over to her place. And nothing's loading. In fact, I appear to be above myself. In fact, I appear to have crashed. Right, let's try this again. I might have crashed the whole game because I can't click on anything now. Oh, wow. <laughs> we should probably take 10 for technical difficulties. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm trying to log in. If, if the login fails, then yeah, we'll, we'll end the segment. But, who boy, I did not expect that to happen. All right, I'm giving it 15 more seconds to log in. Nope, timed out. All right, we'll be back after technical difficulties are over. Yeah, I just crashed too. <laughs> Welcome back. It has been quite a journey. I see that Ralph, or Brian, has prepared a deep dark portal, a builder block, and a quarry card. I'll let you build those, buddy. Cool. I'm not sure you wanted them set up at. Um, wherever. Wherever's good. Alright, ooh, and we got plenty of stuff here. I'm gonna take that out. Alright, but well, the first thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and grab us some good old-fashioned... Uh, obsidian, so I can... Ooh, we got a chicken farm. Yep. 
And chicken in there too. Um. Oh, here's the. Here it is. All right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna take the chicken because I'm. I'm hungry. I got. That's fine. Much. Yeah, cause after the last episode and the disaster with the Nether portal, um, I have to make my way back, and I'm about to go back to the Nether so that way I can. Um, make a portal even back. Because right now we need glowstone to make a cloche to get unlimited redstone. Um, and... Oh, that's good. Yeah. Like, we'll be able to use redstone for a lot once we get the... Once we get the cloche up and running. But I need glowstone for that. And we currently lack glowstone. Do-do-do. Mine and obsidian, doom doom doom, mine and obsidian. Yeah, we're going to venture into the deep dark today and try to do some exploring. <laughs> I thought that'd be fun. Yeah, deep dark has a lot of good stuff. Mostly ore. Yeah. I don't have any armor, and it's going to try to kill me. Um, you know you can make leather armor out of string, right? Oh, I did not know that. I've been debating wasting all the iron today. <laughs> no, no, no. Just make leather armor out of string. Because that makes sense. Mmm, chicken. Oh, where'd that chest go? So, remember what I'm working towards is a cloche, which needs lantern, which needs glowstone. Alright. Just gotta make it back up to the surface. Yeah, we... we the other thing I want to find in the nether is another fortress so we can kill wither skeletons. Because that will net us drops of evil, which we can use to set up a really good mob farm. You familiar with vector plates? Oh, they sound familiar. I'm uh, with the drop of evils, and those things are evil. I died last time I played with those things. <laughs> Alright, so, little trick here. Take this waypoint, edit it, and set it to, to work on the nether, too. Because I'm going to go to the nether. And I'm going to pop out absolutely nowhere near where I am. Alright, time to find my... Gosh darn lag. Time to find my way home. Oh, it's not too far. No, we're all pretty close together. Eat the chicken faster, Steve. Ooh, cobalt. I forgot how fast it is to mine netherrack. Alright. Uh, we probably could use some nether quartz, but I don't feel like really mining it right now. Oh, I got a couple of pieces. I think I got like two. Blaze! Why aren't you purple, Blaze? You don't get it, do you? No. Plebeian. Uh, don't ring a bell. Alright, I'm, I'm around where my home is, but I'm too tall. Do they have a button for chunks anymore? I think they got rid of that on me. Um, you can load chunks using uh, the FTB GUI thing. There's the uh, button that lets you see the chunk borders. Oh, I do not know. More cobalt, but no ardite.
All right. So this portal should lead back to... Okay, well, I'm not going to go through the portal just yet. Um, hopefully it'll work, but if it doesn't, um, it doesn't. But right now, I need glowstone. Because that's what I came here for. Because I want a dinger dang cloche. Alright, I will grab a little bit of nether quartz. Uh, is it better to still touch nether quartz? Um. No, it don't really matter. Um, yeah, because it'll double it. In the sag mill. <laughs> uh, There's some timing for us. Server restart soon, yeah. Uh, Shenamity Liberty. Ooh, I found some draconium. Oh, that's good. Come on, let me eat chicken. I'm dying. Uh, I think your wife got all the glow. No, there's some glowstone over there. Yeah, I just I just had to venture out a little bit. Right, let's kill the blaze before okay. badness occurs. Yeah, kids keep recording interesting. Alright, got us a decent stock of glowstone, nothing too terribly major, but enough to oh, get us by okay. for a little bit. I'll have to use one of these things. What? Alright, so I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna build that glow. Oh, what? Oh, I sh you know what? I'm actually going to leave the Draconium for now, because I don't have fortune. Alright, we'll be back after the surfer restart. Yay, the portal worked! Woohoo! Yeah, also we have a lot of sugar cane. Yeah, we do. I'm okay with this situation. I'm okay with our sugarcane situation. Do we need blaze rods for anything? Uh huh. What? Uh, ender chests. Oh, right. Well, I got four of them. Alright. So now to build a cloche, we're gonna need some iron. Hamrar. Um. I. Where, where's Engineer's Hammer? We had an. Oh, engineer. Yeah, uh, tool chest. chest. Right. Tool chest. Gosh darn it. I keep clicking the sign. Yes. Engineer's Hamrar. Uh, we're gonna need. Some glass. So I'll get that in a moment. We're gonna need treated wood planks and we're gonna need copper. Have we smelted up any copper yet? Yes. Yes, I see it. We have some. Um, ooh, we got solarium. What'd you make solarium for? Oh, I made, uh, soul bath. Oh, nice. Nice. Because the way I used to capture gas to get them... Yeah, do we have flight yet? The... No. Get off we your lazy pot. A... Why don't we have flight yet? Because the easiest way to do it is to capture gas and a bat. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm so we need a drop of evil to turn a golden lasso into an evil lasso. Yeah, we're gonna need to find ourselves a. Uh, I got the lassos made. 
And we're gonna have to find ourselves um, uh, another fortress, definitely. I know where it is. Oh, that's convenient. All right, but for now, I'm working on a cloche. Um, let's see. We're also gonna need an aqueous accumulator, but I'll make that in a moment. And then we're gonna need a drawer for holding the stuff. Um, treated wood plank. We got some, right? Yep. yep. That's dark oak. There they are. Alright, I got them. I got them good. Alright, so we need two iron plates. We're gonna need one mechanical component. We're gonna need one of you. And one of you. Where do you want our cloche to be? Uh, I have no idea what that is. Even if. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little block that uh, grows a lot of plant. Uh, I'll put it by the farm then. Alright. Speaking of which, you probably want to set up... Uh, well, we got a beetroot seed, so let's plant that. Well, we have to keep that stuff up to the villagers. They'll replace everything and just replant wheat on us. Oh, okay. Alright, so, sticking it over here, giving it some water. Oh, I think it needs to be fed water, not directly. Um, okay. So now we need to feed power over there, somehow. Uh, where, where's our capacitor? Our capacitor's in the deep dark, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, I can live with that. We can make another one. They're relatively easy to make. They are. Oh, well, thing to forget, I forgot the switch. <laughs> no, I was even lucky today and had a villager sign a contract, so we should have a chunk loading board. Doesn't that require a lot more, though? Uh, yeah. I forgot what else I needed for it. But, yeah, I had a willing volunteer, because that normally takes so a while. Yeah, I mean, we I still have chunks unloaded in the, uh, the chunks GUI, but, uh, yeah, that'll help. Alright, so I need to make an aqueous accumulator, because that's much cheaper than, um, than trying to make ourselves a reservoir. Yeah, we just need an ender pearl, then we'll be able to uh, make a loading word. Uh, gonna need more copper. See, we got one piece of copper ore. I'm sag milling it. Oh, we have 60 pulverized copper. That's good to know. Yeah, pulverized uh, copper to try to get gold. Because I've not had any luck finding gold. We got 19 gold ore. That's a nice start. What do you need all the gold for? Well, I made that capacitor which took a bunch, then the lassos took some, and... Yeah, but they don't take that much. Uh, solarium took some. And... Yeah, I mean, gold's a useful resource, but... They don't take much, but we don't have much. True. Alright. Um, we need glass. Oh, gosh. Oh, good golly, Porsche. Oh, my gosh, my golly, gosh. Oh, my gosh, my golly, gosh. Making a device frame doodly doot. Making a device frame with iron, cause it's a bit cheaper, and I'm being lazy, doodly doot. Ten. Do we have ten? Yeah, we should have ten. 
uh, leaves the question of where it is. The tin that drawers. Uh, so do we? We don't have any smelted tin. It'd be in the chest next to the sag machines there. Yeah. Uh, huh. We have ten of two varieties. And time to recharge the capacitor. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually gonna need to borrow that just for uh, for a moment because I'll make my own capacitor in just a little bit, but. For now, I want to power up the cloche. Okay. So you should be getting water. Yes. Now it just needs power. You know what? Actually, I've got an idea. Uh oh. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I might be able to make us a thermoelectric generator. Ooh. Yeah. What happened to our cold coke? I see it. I see it. Don't worry. You sorted the chest dummy. Yeah, it's what I do. It's who I am. Well, I'll stop right there on the bottom for easy grabbings. Alright, I'm just going to borrow the capacitor for a moment so I can start powering up our cloche. Alright. So, I started running this at 844 of this segment. We already have two pieces of redstone. We have three pieces of redstone. Do you see how fast this thing grows redstone? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to need some Constantine. So I'm going to need copper. Nickel. I'm going to need... Do, 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 Oh, where to put the water? I'll leave that up to you. The golem is taking a bath again. Well, he, he likes being clean. Can you blame him? Let's get her protecting villagers. Well, clean, cleanliness comes first. How much steel do you want? Uh, I really don't need any right now. Alright, well, I'm, I'm cooking up a decent chunk. Just because it'll, it'll, it'll come in handy. And I'm making another crafting station. Because I'm tired of having to walk inside for crafting. Gonna need eight pieces of copper turned into wires. Ah, listen to those chickens get murdered. Ain't it just the best sound you ever heard? Yep. yep. I got us a thermoelectric generator. Cool. They can output power out the bottom, right? Oh, I probably should have used wood for this, but it'll work. So I need a reminder of what the thermoelectric generator is powered with. I know it's differentials, but... 
I'm trying to remember what one of the blocks are. Because uranium is a hot block. I need a cold block. Uh, we don't have any ice. No, we don't. I can just use water for now. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna cook up a little bit of our uranium. Um, just so that way we can have a hot block. Where is our uranium? Oh, uh, I see it. Uh, might not have enough. Let's see, what do I get in the sag mill for it? Oh, I don't think I even can sag mill it. I need all those. I see two machines. Yeah, well, it works in the induction smelter. Mm, yeah, we're going to need more uranium. If we want that thing to work. Because we're running out of power. So, water on one end, and then getting more uranium on the other. Uh, what other resources did we need? Oh, we basically need everything. True. I'll make sure... Okay. Um, I'll make sure I leave the hammer uh, out of my inventory for once I log off. So that way you can... Ooh, lapis. So you can go ahead and do the things and the stuff. Okay. Hey, I don't need to mine this redstone because we have infinite amounts. We just need power. Oh, how much Elorium do we have, actually? Because I can use that, too. Um, not much. Ah, dinger dang. Like, how much, not much? I'd have to go look at the chest. Alright. <clears throat> oh, yeah, 32 pieces. Oh, that's plenty. I see you upgraded our cobble drawer. Yep. Where's our Eulorium? Uh, It's right next to the door to the house. Okay. Also, did you forget we had two uh, gold blocks? Um, no. <laughs> okay. I'm putting it... Excuse me. In the chest with the rest. Once I get this, uh, once I get this thermoelectric cup and run in, I believe I will call it an episode. Alrighty. I got the water wheel turning, but it just don't look pretty. Yeah, where are you right now? Hey, mind you. Perfect for the murdering! Nah. What? Nah. I, like I didn't me. do it. <laughs> Like, maybe we'll do some PvP at some point, but for now, I... Uh, oh, a water wheel! Nice! 
Yeah, thermal electric is up and running. I just need to make the coils and some wires. Yeah. But all right, we have infinite redstone. Woohoo! Well, I guess that's good for the episode. Oh, wow, that's a lot of chickens. See you guys later. Take it easy.